Hi, my name is Caitlin Riddell and I am an admissions counselor at Otis College of Art and Design. I am also a recent Otis graduate. I graduated just a couple years ago, so I totally understand what you're going through in terms of applying to art school. Um, applying to art school is very, very different than applying to a state school or a university. And one of the most important aspects of how it is different is the application process in terms of submitting your portfolio. The most important thing to think about when you are applying to art schools is really research the art schools you're thinking about going to and look at their portfolio requirements because every portfolio requirement is going to be slightly different. Um, some schools have specific assignments, some schools require that you submit a digital portfolio, some schools require that you submit actual physical work. So what we're looking for at Otis is 10 to 20 images of your best and most recent work. And the reason why that's a little bit more open-ended is because we want to see what you think your best work is. Um, now, if you feel photography is your strongest work, uh, maybe you don't feel as passionate about drawing, um, as opposed to show showing photography and drawing, if you feel photography is your absolute best work, that's what we want to see in your portfolio. So your portfolio can be a range of things in terms of visual artwork. It can be photography, it can be illustration, it can be graphic design. If you're interested in digital work, it can be things like animation. It can be obviously um, a little bit more traditional items like drawing and painting, um, as well as sculpture. There are some students who are interested in a combination of things and maybe have more mixed media work, and that's absolutely okay as well. Um, other things we're interested in, we want to see, um, again, technical skills, so that's really tuning into your showing what you can do in terms of technique. So whether that's drawing and beginning to show um, you know, strong line quality, composition, uh, as well as proportion, maybe that's what technical skill means to you. If maybe your focus is more on graphic design, maybe that's those technical skills are your computer-based skills. Um, now in terms of creativity, what we're looking for is your voice as an artist. So we want to see what you're passionate about, what makes you want to make art. You can submit your portfolio by uploading JPEGs as well as um, moving files as well if you're interested in animation through an electronic website. A lot of schools are moving in this direction because it makes it much easier for students. You can do everything from your computer at home. Um, you just have all your work ready to go, upload your images, and then press submit, and the work goes directly to the school. Most often, work that you've done within the last few years of your high school career is going to be much stronger than work, let's say, that you've done in eighth grade. So you want to try to focus on that work. And what I always suggest to students when they're trying to edit their portfolio is put out all your work on the floor and look at it. You're going to see which pieces are the weakest, and you can take them out. So think about, you know, putting pieces Putting pieces that you feel are strong in the beginning so we have a very good outlook when we first open your, your portfolio. Um, think about how one piece leads into the next piece. So maybe that means you don't have all, you, all your brightly colored pieces together. Maybe that means you have a little bit of variety and you space them out. Um, again, this is what, how you feel your work will look strongest in a portfolio setting. I hope you have learned some valuable tips in terms of putting together a portfolio and having a better understanding of what an electronic portfolio is. We wish you the best of luck as you begin to apply to art schools and in your college career.